Hi everyone, welcome to Channeling Love. My name is Diane and these are your angel messages for today. So I'm going to start with a message from the Little Book of Daily Guidance and the book, the message that I was given was 186 Earth Angels and the message says a day to seek out earth angels and fellow light beings. Most earth angels have a habit of seeking out hurt and damaged souls because they believe they can help or heal them. I just want to address that quickly. So you know, to some extent, that's a learned habit. That's something that we, we've kind of come into this lifetime with almost, you know, with a very strong intention to do that. We are here to help. We are here to heal. We are here to help and heal and uplift the collective. We are aware of that. And, you know, on a microcosmic level, we sometimes have a tendency to tr attract people who also need healing. However, having said that, it can be very difficult sometimes to pursue and to fulfill your life's mission when you have a lot of people around you who are pulling on your energy and who need you in that respect. It doesn't mean that we are to show a lack of compassion. It doesn't mean that we are to um, say no to people who are in need every single time. There will be times when you can, there will be times when you can't, but we have to learn how to put some protection around ourselves and to understand when we'll be taken advantage of and and our good nature will be um, exploited rather than being drawn into a give and take relationship and when we are actually being of service because if you're just being drained by people who are actually being a little bit abusive in that sense just taking all the time then you are unable to be of higher service and you're teaching those people that it's okay to mistreat you because that's ultimately what it is it's mistreatment your relationships need to be reciprocal yes okay uh, that's enough they're saying that's enough <laughs> Thank you. Right, so sometimes earth angels attract angry or aggressive people or those who constantly attack their light or take advantage of their gentle nature. That's another aspect, another thing to remember that the lower vibrations can often work through people around us in order to attack us. Today is a day for earth angels to seek out other earth angels for con conversation and companionship. If you have come with a strong determination to be of service and to heal others, sometimes you don't know how to receive from others and sometimes you haven't found your soul tribe yet and you haven't found the people who will put you in a situation where you can receive reciprocation you know reciprocity where you can be in a healthy relationship with good boundaries and with a, a natural and fair flowing of of giving and taking giving and receiving okay so today is a day to look for that to nourish your soul with that to seek out others who are givers others who are kind others who are on that soul path of contribution rather than just being drawn in once again by people who just want to drain and drain and drain your energy Look for those in your life who will enrich and support you and appreciate your kindness and gentleness instead of depleting your precious energy reserves. Join with others who wish to be of service to the world and you will experience a kinder feeling of harmony and connection. So really important today to seek out those groups. They may be groups in person. They may be one-to-one -one connections. They may be online groups. Um, there, there are lots of, of groups um, platforms now that explore different interests. They could be uh, groups of people who love astrology, groups of people who are interested in near death relationship, uh, in near death um, experiences, NDEs, near death relationships. That's so funny. I have so many relationships with my guides. It's ridiculous. So yes, they are near death relationships, but that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about near death experiences and past life um, experiences. Um, there will be groups also for people who are looking for uh, their soul tribe, who are just wanting to connect with like minded people. There'll be groups for light workers, groups with earth angels. Um, so yes. Definitely a group, a day to connect with those groups and to find those people who can help us to stay in harmony and balance rather than constantly pulling us off centre and um, uh, making us feel drained and, um, yeah, misused. It's not very nice. We nourish ourselves with those higher relationships. We nourish ourselves and it is okay for us to receive. And, and then... 
perhaps on some level that's stopping you from being on of service because when we feel that we're giving one to one and somehow everyone is taking from us that very energy that we need to be presenting on a, a bigger platform so that more people have access to it somehow when we get caught up in these little niggly relationships we feel as if we're being of service in the way that we came here to be but sometimes we're just not for some people that's right some people are meant to be at the center of a hub of a lively family a lively extended family and they are that that beacon of light within that family some people are meant to be at the, the front of a classroom and they are only ever going to influence groups of 30 people 30 little people each year some people are meant to just be in a in a one-to-one, -one, a powerful couple situation where they are the person behind someone else who is huge, hugely successful, and they are constantly inspiring and influencing them. But that's not the case for everyone. And in fact, it's not the case for many of us. We need as many as possible stepping up and being visible and offering their gifts in service to the world as possible at this time. So break away from those draining relationships, find other earth angels who can love and support you and encourage you on your journey. So I'm going to go straight into the picker card now. So pause the video if you need a bit more time to connect with the heart of your message, whether that will be found in group one, two or three. Okay, stop. So I'm asking spirit, what do we need to do in order to find our soul tribe? To find our soul tribe, this is what we want. To find our soul tribe and to connect with other earth angels today. What do we need to know? Okay, count your blessings. Thank you universe and angels for, bless, for the blessings in my life. So for some people, you already have people around you who are like that, but you're not really appreciating them or you're not seeing them or you're not able to count them as your many blessings. So appreciate and understand that not everyone has that and do something nice for them today, but make, make an effort to connect, connect with your soul family, say something nice to everyone that you love, you know, tell, tell people that you love how you feel about them and just make an effort to connect and add them to your gratitude list today group number two study and learning group number two it's possible that you will meet more earth angels if you take up a course okay so there might be a course of study that you're thinking of doing um, a new modality or maybe studying something in more depth maybe tarot maybe how to give good readings how to develop your spiritual gifts and um, we're not talking about doing this one-to-one -one, but possibly working with a group whether it's an online group or you know however that happens for you this could be your way of of attracting your soul tribe, of meeting more like-minded people, because in those groups you will quite often find people who are here also to give, to be of service, and who are earth angels. Just go to Google and Google earth angels. <laughs> who knows, there may be a group called earth angels. Um, group number three, what do you need? You need to focus your mind. Group number three, you need to focus your mind and make a decision on what no longer serves you in your life and how you are going to step away from it, how you are going to start moving towards that which nourishes you, that which heals you. Um, thank you, angels, for helping me to focus on your priorities. Your priorities at this moment as an earth angel, as a light worker, your priorities are your mission of service, your self-care, and the loved ones around you who are able to receive your love in the highest and best possible way. The friendships that are true and that really do nurture you and not anything at all that drains you and sucks your life force or that pulls you off course. So focus your mind on your priorities and put all your energy and your love and your care and your wisdom into those things. Looking forward to hearing more from some of you. I would like you to comment below on the video and let me know how you are intending to move forward on your journey. Let me know what 
what sort of earth angel you are. Are you a practitioner? Do you practice a particular modality? Are you an intuitive like me? Are you a channel? Are you a musician? Are you? What do you actually do? And how are you going to commit more to your path of service? Talk to each other. Network with each other. Connect with each other. You know, let's build a community. Let's, you know, see if there's anyone out there who watches these videos who would like to, to talk to you. Or just, you know, comment on someone else's comment. Um, that's it for today everyone. Again, thank you so much for sharing these videos and for being a part of this community. I really appreciate you. Thank you for the people who are working with me at the moment. You know how I feel about you. Thank you so much for being here at this incredible time and for the work that you do on yourself and for the collective. And um, thank you to everyone who's watching. Once again, we will be back soon. Bye.